As Jesus walked beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers called Peter and Andrew. They were casting nets into the lake, for they were fishermen. But who is Peter? Mostly, they remember Peter as the one who denied Jesus three times. That Peter is a coward. And the one who drowned in the water because of the little faith. But let me tell you one thing. The life of Peter is a perfect picture of restoration and forgiveness. Peter has this characteristic in life. He is bold, brave, and he has the leadership. He wants to be with Jesus, and he is willing to be corrected. However, he is still not exempted to be tested and failed. What is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. Though all men shall be offended because of thee, yet will I never be offended. I am ready to go with thee both into prison or to death. I tell thee, Peter, the cock shall not crow this day before that thou shalt thrice deny that thou knowest me. Even in his boldness, still Peter failed. The same as Peter, we as well undergoes failure in our life. Sometimes, we are trying to feed our old nature, which is not according to the will of God. But take note, God doesn't look on the failure, but instead, He's looking on how you rise up and corrected the mistake that you had made. But let us back to Peter's life. Peter knew Jesus well. He walked with Jesus in the water. The Gospel of Mark is the Gospel of Peter. And indeed, he is the one of the close circle of three friends of Jesus. And in the time, he grew in grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Peter's old nature is Simon. Simon means deformity, which disqualified. But Jesus turns him from Simon into Peter, means rock. Many times, Peter was with Jesus. And God used him mightily into his kingdom. And that is why Satan demanded to have Peter to sift him like a wheat. Simon. Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you. That he may sift you as wheat. But I've prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Same as we are, we must be watchful and sober in mind. For the devil is like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. A lot of time, we are also attacked by the enemies because he knew that we can be useful to God's kingdom. In 
Peter's life is a good illustration and perfect portrait of our life. Even though we've been through a lot of failure, but God will rise you up and continue His great plan in your life. The greatest lesson in the story is from failure turns into a useful of God's great glory. Remember how Peter continued his journey and lead the disciples to continue into God's glory. And this is one of the history why we still read the Bible till today. Thanks for watching. 